This piece of artwork is called Madonna and Child. It was created by Duchu in the 1300s. This overall piece isn't very big, it's only about a foot tall, and we should really value this artwork because there's only a few paintings left by him. This painting is very interesting because it refers to Christ's death, and we see this through how Madonna is being used to represent Mary. If you look at Mary's face here, you can see how expressionless it is. She shows a nurturing and sorrowful look upon her face as if she's looking down at her baby. Yeah, we can really get this sense of her kind of giving off this ominous uh, foreshadowing uh, gaze at her child, knowing, or almost saying as, like, almost saying as if, oh, I know what's going to happen in the future to you, like, I, I only know how much I can love you. Um, they both are showing us a powerful aspect of human interpretation. Jucho chose to show baby Jesus as looking like a little man in a way, to incorporate how he looked like when he died, but also to show how Mary will remember him because she still views him as her baby. Yeah, that's true. I think when we look at baby Jesus himself, with the exception of his face, his hands, and his feet, his whole, the form, like his form, his body itself is very mature and very, uh, very much like a, like a grown man. Uh, the details here, such as the patterns in the background on the gold, the weightless clothing Mary has on, the halo behind her head, and the scale difference in Mary and Jesus show us that this is from like a spiritual world or a spiritual aspect. And um, Ducho was very interested in humanism and exploring the psychological relationship between mother and child. Yeah, and we can really get a good sense of that by the way that Jesus is showing affection toward his mother. Uh, just like a, an, any other mother would, she would just look at her baby and kind of gaze in awe. But when we see Jesus, it's kind of like this innocent, um, almost fascinated at the way his, his mother looks. And now we're going to transition into a more recent piece, drawn by Albrecht Dürer in the year 1500. Off the bat, we can see that this piece is very, very dark, and it almost kind of has like nothing going on really with the exception of a few light colors that are in contrast with the dark background. And his uh, face, too, is almost, like, expressionless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, uh, it almost, is, it's, it's very bland and kind of gives the impression that there's really nothing going on and that the few that is going on or the little that is going on is, is drawn on purpose. We can see that his gesture is very cold and almost uh, very... Uh, it's very personal just in the way his, his posture is because, intimate. yeah, it's very intimate because he's looking straight at you um, in comparison with an earlier piece that he did in 1498 when he was 26 years old where he's kind of dressed up and it's not as, it's not as a formal just because of the way his, uh, exactly, so his body language is almost rigid and forced whereas this one it's more natural and personal. And he's looking kind of sideways too. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. On. In the, in the earlier piece. In this piece, though, we, the first thing that kind of jumps out at us is that he looks like Jesus. And, you know, we can just see that by the way his hair curls down around his shoulders, the way his face is. Um, and the way he's pointing, too. Kind yeah, of. and the way he's pointing kind of himself, like almost saying, like, I'm in the limelight. Um, yeah. But the biggest thing we can take from this is that, once again, his, his, uh, his posture with a lot, in reference to Jesus, we often think of a very personal, very um, spiritual being. When we see him in drawings, we, ought, we tend to see him looking directly at us. And this is a way that Albert Durr compares himself to an almost, almost spiritual and kind of higher, higher power, exactly. Because um, not only was Albert Durr a, an artist, but he was also a, a mathematician, a theologian among other things, and he was also a, a teacher. Um, so, I mean, like, it's almost like he's aspiring to be it's a Jesus-like character, you know, and we kind of get that sense just, like I said, from the way that this painting is formatted. Another thing we'll notice is that this, this artwork is very much a product of the Renaissance, and not in a sense where it happens during the Renaissance, but it's, it's what happens after. With the uh, like I said before, he is a very well-rounded individual, which might be the root of what we now consider a Renaissance man, a man who is very well-rounded and considered a jack-of-all-traits and a master of them. If you look very closely at the uh, top right, 
Um, you will notice that he has the numbers 1500, which dates to the date of when he completed the, the, the drawing. And his insignia AD for Albrecht Durer. Yeah, it's really interesting because like he would never would have no like I would have never noticed that. Like, right, it's almost looking at it. Right, it's almost like graffitied on there, like it wasn't yeah. done on purpose. And then if you look to the left of him, then you have this uh, this message which is actually left by him where it says, "Thus I, Albrecht Durer of Nuremberg, made an image of myself in appropriate colors in my 28th year," which really is amazing because you know he's only 28 and he's already drawing and you know. Same saying you know saying so much in his uh in his pieces uh, on top of that though for being 28 he is already drawing for the uh the roman emperor the king of spain at, at the time also being a teacher which is quite an achievement for such a young individual the biggest thing we can take from this uh the insignia and then the little message he leaves is that it's it's at eye level with with yeah. every yeah with with the piece and with his eyes um so it's almost like we're reading across his eyes and we're reading his gaze like, this is who I am, this is me, and this is why I did it, or this is when I did it. So it's it's very different where he kind of just leaves and imprints himself onto the picture in a very personal and close uh, And you can kind of like interpret like whatever you want from it too, but just the way like he's looking at you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really get that sense just because, you know, he is directly looking at you. As we stated before, in comparison to a previous piece he did in 1498 when he was 26, we see that um, there is much uh, comparison and contrast between the two. Um, unlike the the newer, more uh, Jesus-looking-like one, we see that in the previous one from 1498 that he's almost... Um, that the colors are very bright and vivid, and we also see him dressed as a uh, as a court here.